Hello, this is Sancho from the Crane Elevation Show. Our celebrity voices are impersonated by Bang, Caleb, Joe, Jesus, or Miggy. Yes, we keep adding people every time. Broadcasting from within the Ebor Muta Triangle, live from the Lion's Den at 1704 and a half. Yes, a half. East 7th Avenue, Ebor City, Florida. It's the Cranial Emission Show. Welcome to another edition, folks, of the Cranial Emission Show, broadcasting not from the Lion's Den, actually, but we took a uh, slight detour here at the Reverend Joey T. Compound. Haven't done a show here in a long time. It's, the last time we did a live show and had a radio party was, I was thinking about this, Joe, it was December 12th, 2012, the Mayan Day of the Dead. Remember we had that big party here? Yeah, it was uh, December, what, 21st, right? So, End of the world. Was it the 21st or 12th? 21st. I think you're right. It was the 21st. Yeah, too. it was probably yeah, before right. Christmas, man. It yeah. was the end of the world party. Yeah. We thought we were all going to die, so yeah. we, we figured we'd get one good last show in. Yeah, that yeah. was a great time, but it's been literally almost three years since we've done one here. Still waiting for people to come in for the party, but lots of booze. If you're a friend, you're listening to the show, come on up here. Come on up to the Reverend Joey T. Compound. We're going to have a good time. Going to start it off with the radio show? You want me to give it the address there in case anybody needs to? Uh, Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Lou Bob might be I got guns, dude. I ain't worried. All right. It's uh, 3007 Al Simmons Road in Dover, Florida. Al Simmons, like a guy's name. Right? So come on up. Yeah. Come on up. We're going to have a good time. And after the radio show, two different bands, we think, will be live, right? Is that what we're looking at? Definitely one. Okay. And uh, uh, Jamie said he's bringing some guys out to jam. So I don't know if it's going to be, uh, what's the name of his band again? It's uh, Soul Butter. Soul Butter, yeah. I don't know if it's Soul Butter or another project he's working on, but they're going to... They're no, gonna it's Soul Butter. Butter. Like Truffle butter. butter. Gotcha. Like, yeah, like Truffle Butter. Uh, are we still on the <laughs> Truffle Butter thing? All right. No, we're not on that. No, anymore. not at all. No. We, haven't, we haven't edited anything from last week. No. Thank God. No, we haven't. We have, actually. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, promote your band. All right, we're the uh, International Criminal Gang of Bastards, man. We're, we're going to float out about... I don't know, eight new songs a night and play oh, some cool. of the old ones that people know. And uh, I don't know, we got a pretty good, we got about a 45 minute set list we're going to do. Do you have like a lyric list? Because I don't know any of them. You I'll won't. sing along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do we have a lyric list? Actually, I play in the band. I have no idea what most of the, other than the <laughs> ones that I sing, I don't, I don't know what the lyrics are. Oh, yeah, whatever. I just try to harmonize with grunts. Oh, okay. It that works. That works, good. yeah. You know, I'm, I'm getting hit by a couple <laughs> mosquitoes. You guys want me to grab a little off real quick? Sure. All right, let me grab some. Yeah, Hang go on ahead. a second. I'll be right back. Go with your best. So. <laughs> All right. You well, know, it's, it, it, Joey's a good host, and that's one of the reasons why we like having parties here and hanging out. It's been very gracious to have us all here. So, Caleb, this is going to be fun. This is your very first live compound radio party. Caleb's never done this before. I have not. As the newest host, yeah. he hasn't experienced this. By the Great. way, we've got a lot going on tonight, a lot of different topics to get into. If you're listening to the show, you're not local. If you're listening from around the world, first of all, go to cranialemissions.com. I'm assuming you already have if you're listening there, as Caleb sprays me down with bug spray here. Yeah, yeah, it's bug spray. It's not going to blend well with my Issey cologne, I'm thinking, but uh, what the hell. It's kinda, actually, Are you it's wearing Issey too? Kinda, it's kinda Are nice you also? Uh, yeah. Are you an Issey guy? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Another thing we got in common. All right. Well, anyway, uh, uh, if, you wanna, if, if you can't be here for the party, you're listening from around the world, you can still call in. We still want you to be a part of this. It's an interactive experience. Call us, 813-438-6068. Again, craniomissions.com. That's the best place that you can listen to us from. The reason we like that you do that is because there is an interactive map that will mark where you're listening from from around the world. So it's, it's a really cool thing for us. But we're going to start the show off, guys, the way we do every single week, and that is with the Beer Call. 
Why don't you give me fresh beer? <laughs> you serious? Now! Now! Hey, sir! You son of a bitch! It's magical. It's laughing at me. I wish I could brush my teeth with it. Oh. I want to put my dick in it. I want it to put its dick in me. Oh. I wish it were winter. We could make it into ice blocks and skate on it. Hmm. And then melt it in the springtime and drink it. Ah, so we start off another beer call. And this is kind of a different experience because since we are having a live party, it's there's a myriad of choices. I'm going with, I'm starting out right now with Copper Tail, with the Unholy Triple. Can't go wrong with Copper you Tail. You can't go wrong with Copper uh-huh. Tail, Unholy Triple. This is a brewery out of Ybor City, right down the street from where I live. This beer, guys, is 10%. Is it really? Oh, yeah. I haven't had that one. It's a Belgium Triple, and this will, this is hammer time, buddy. I'm on my second one. That's your last one. Not my last one. Till no. the end of the show. We don't want drunk. Oh, no. Drunk I've got another one already sitting here in reserve, buddy. I'm a oh. big fan of their wheat stroke. Yeah? Love the wheat stroke. But I'm not drinking that. Do you have, like, a gluten problem? If you drink too much wheat, you have a stroke? I think that's what that's about. <laughs> I actually drank seven of them one time. I did feel a little lightheaded. Did your face droop a little? A little bit, but I don't know if that was a stroke or just me being num- drunk. Numbness in your yeah, arm, maybe? Sometimes I get a little lazy. That happens. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> I'm drinking Yingling. You know, nothing much to say there. Nothing new for you. Nothing new, Even no. when we're at the Lion's Den broadcasting. I did do I had some Fireball. That's true. That counts. We, we did have a pre-show shot of Fireball. We did. There will be more of those. Oh, great. I will be running out during commercial breaks to bring us more Fireball. Password can uh, pick me up later. She will need to. She will. Yeah, she will definitely yeah, need to. That's a too. wise choice, I would say. <laughs> and Joe, Joe, what are you going to? I'm having a fine ale called Captain and Coke. <laughs> that is a fine ale. Yeah, it's, it's a new it's thing good. that I've been working on. It's uh, I'm brewing it myself now. I actually take Captain Morgan and Coke. Well, I, I, I brew Captain Morgan with... All right, I'm lying. I just put some ice in Captain Morgan. Do you Morgan put the uh, and, and, and Do you put the Coke in the second? I did. Second and the first sometimes, if I have to. For the fermentation process. It's uh, it's 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 delicate, and I really don't want to give away my secrets because I'm working on this for a whole new like uh, brewery I'm starting here at the compound. I'm going to build another building in the back back Oh, there. that's what you need, another building. Yeah, I don't have enough yet. <laughs> that's you got why space. We, that's why we call it the compound. Have you looked at this place? There's nothing but different if buildings. You, if you need it. to hire armed guards, I can come over and give you a hand. You know, uh, my thought was actually, because I've actually gone through this, you know, doomsday prepping type thing. Yeah. And uh, I thought about it because I got a lot of open area here. I, I can be attacked pretty easily. So there's a railroad right there, railroad track. So yeah. I think the ne- if there's ever like a, um, you know, type of situation where we need to like arm up and save our, you know, like end a, of the world, uh, uh, zombie uh, apocalypse. Yeah, I think that would be. I don't know if I'm going to be good out here. I might have to dig some trenches for that. But if there's ever just like say like uh, a a bomb, a dirty bomb that goes off. There's not enough food going around. I'm going to steal all of the railroad ties from the track and then line my house with them. I would just steal the railroad cars. Well, th- well they're, they're kind of hard to... I don't have a forklift. No. I don't, well, no, or I don't just drive know. the train over here. <laughs> <laughs> I should run some tracks. Maybe that's what yeah. I'll do. I'll just... Run a loop around the house. Reroute the tracks right around here, and then run. A, that'd be pretty nice. And then all you have to do is patch the, between the cars, and then you got a full wall. That'd be much like uh, Road Warrior to begin yeah. with. Yeah, like the bus in the front. <laughs> now I'm excited because uh, I told you guys before the show. Lion's Den, where we broadcast every other week. The great Brian Lyon, who actually lives down the street here from the Reverend Joey T. Compound. Oh, really? Said he's going to try to come up tonight, by awesome. the way. Very nice. Gave him the address. He, he actually confirmed his invitation. Cool. But remember we interviewed FBI, the female paranormal investigators, yeah. who were kind enough to, to, to give us a, a, a very nice interview with the whole family. They were great people. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the uh, Linda Fay, her sister, their kids. Tina. <laughs> Not Tina. Oh, no, okay, I'm sorry. sorry. They, all oh, their nice. kids, a, 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 a family of paranormal investigators, they told us during that interview that they wanted to investigate the lion's den. She reached out to me this week, and I'm trying to book her at the lion's den after we do the show, after the bar closes, this upcoming Friday. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be... It's Dangerous. Ex- it's going to be a shit show. Yeah, I, can do, I can do it. I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'm glad, I'm I'm good. glad you uh, you called that, because that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I already popped the uh, explicit cherry on that one. Yes, it's going to be a shit show. Yeah. It will be. Yeah, and I might have to. I'm just going to put this out there. have to stay at the uh, the Charles Manor that at, night. At Charles Goli- Towers? At, at uh, Charles Towers, yeah, yes. Yeah. Goalie Studios also. Well, I'll, yes. I'll also go there. Yes. Well, so, Joe, I don't, th- I don't know if you heard earlier but we decided since we are going to be a, a live party here uh right. with w- with probably a lot of consumption uh we've decided that we're not even going to try to keep it uh non-explicit so we're just going well, fuck it. shit <laughs> awesome <laughs> yes it. we're going straight explicit which we always do when we have parties here That's which we do every week anyway really true true yeah, so. 
<laughs> but uh, in some beer news, we do like to get into some beer news. Y- you know, you got the coffee Keurig thing with Green Mountain. Right. With the K-Cups. The whole coffee Keurig thing has become very popular. Well, on the heels of that, now you've got what what is somewhat similar, I guess. And you now have a beer uh, Keurig type of system. Uh, there, there's Kickstarter has uh, galvanized some funds for this thing, but... There is uh, uh, now a, an invention known as Mini Brew. This is an all-in-one countertop brewing system where you can load this thing up, and essentially it takes about a month for it to... <laughs> so that was, you know, that was a joke <laughs> I was just about to make. That's not really much like a Keurig. I mean, I understand where you're going. So you, 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 it brews right on your... It's almost like a bread maker. It just takes a month to do it. Yeah, it just sits there and starts to brew on your countertop. And uh, it can it's capable of spitting out about 1.3 gallons of beer once it's done. I have every month, once a month, you get 1.3. Yeah, once a month. Yeah. So we'd have to buy about 12 of those. Yeah, each? I'm thinking. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm going to have to rewire my kitchen because I don't know if they're all going to fit in the same circuit. Uh, we're going to need a bunch. It's really easy. All you do is add water, hops, and some other ingredients to start it off. The mini brew takes over. It performs the mashing, the boiling, the cooling in about 3.5 hours before transferring the batch to a fermentation tank where it then turns into beer, and actually it's over a week plus. I'm sorry, I said a month. It's actually a week oh, plus. Oh, it's nothing. I see, that's, that's, that's not so bad at all. Um, God, I can, I can just hear beer snobs around the country turning their noses up. Oh, yeah. I can he- actually hear it. They're like, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> if you don't watch it. But it sounds like it's probably pretty sanitary, and from what I understand, that's the most important part of brewing beers, yeah. to keep it sanitary. Now, how much would you pay for this? Um, I don't know how much I would pay for it, but I'm going retail. It's two ninety nine. Better add another zero, buddy. Wow, <laughs> we're talking two grand for this ba- bad boy. You got it. So wait a minute for two. No, no, no. Yeah, you're talking two no. grand for this thing. Not worth it. And I mean, you're uh, never going to make your money back. I, I'm sure that they're the only one making the 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 stuff you need to put into it, right? They no, I think it looks packets. like you can put your own. Uh, no, there's no packets. It looks like you put your own stuff in it. Yes, okay. So you still. don't have to. But two grand. But still, you have to go out and buy all that stuff anyway. It's not that cheap. Yeah, but especially you, if you want exotic type things. If you you could spend a couple hundred dollars and get all the equipment you need to brew beer forever. Right, right. You think a couple hundred? I think oh, it's a little it's more than that. No, no. it's actually even cheaper no. than that, dude. All you really need to brew beer is a stainless steel pot and a carboy. And what's that? The yeah, the, yeah. The container. A lot of people even use water bottle. You know, you can use water yeah, the, the, or you yeah, the five gallon things with one yeah. of the release valves on the top. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's actually really cheap, man. You spend a lot more money on. But that takes a lot of time. I've actually seen one that you can do in a, uh, you know, the Gatorade coolers that the road crews and, you know, construction crews use, the big ones with the spout on it. They make one where you take the spout off and you put put a a real valve on it on the bottom and you put line it with filters and stuff and you can... You can do a lot of your process right there in that. So, so we're all giving this a thumbs down. Then? Thumbs down. For, for, for what? How much? Three grand? Two yeah. grand. Two, Two grand. grand. Right, Twenty-five hundred. So Twenty-five hundred. Um, I mean, it's a great idea, and I think if like you, if you know somebody who's doing really well in, in life, and you're related to them, and you got extra money, and you can't ever find them anything to buy, that'd be a great Christmas present. I mean, I'm I don't not know. spending that much. On well, I'm saying I, I did preface that with you're doing really well. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. If you're making two hundred and fifty thousand plus, this is a great Christmas gift for you. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So Ben, what's this uh, video game beer about? I see on the outline here. Well, before that, I, I, we just got a question from our most interactive listener. <laughs> is that Lord Cheese <laughs> from Lord Cheese, who asked that uh, if the mini brew takes snow peas? <laughs> <laughs> Only in the second. You got You got to put them in the and second. And only if Lord you're Cheese. making a saison. Well, because that's the thing is that Lord Cheese, you know, he's a beer connoisseur. But he really likes his snow pea saison, the snow pea caramel saison. He'd be he'd be uh, very upset if I didn't mention the caramel that has to be. Actually, mixed last with time it. I talked to him, he said he was doing a yogurt snow pea <laughs> saison. I thought it was cucumber. <laughs> okay, well maybe he added that too. But I think he was just wearing those on his eyes while he was making it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Eyes. Well, it's yeah. good. It gets the well. He you, you said he make it. He doesn't make anything. He sits there and tells Chelmsford. Oh, no, exactly. well, Chelmsford makes it. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to blow up his ego a little bit. He, oh. he does feel oh, yes. that like because he, he pays. <laughs> yeah, really. Because he pays Chauncey that. That Chauncey. he actually, what, what's his name? Chomsford. Ch- I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I always heard manservant. That's all I ever heard. But <laughs> if, I feel like he feels like if he's paying him, he's actually doing it, right? I mean, because he's making the money that it costs. So you are, Lord Cheese, doing that yourself. Yeah, good job. Okay, so I'm sorry. You were leading in to. Yeah, the video game beer. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Okay, well, we've talked in the past about these gimmicky beers. Obviously, there's a lot of gimmicky beers in and of themselves. Well, 